Hey guys, welcome to Code Solutions with Khumsgham Peculiar. Today we're learning the basics of user defined functions. Once more, we'll create the basic function to ensure understanding of how a user defined functions work. For understanding further terms on functions, catch out this video on our thumbnail. Okay, we will do a basic program where we need to output the maximum between two numbers using a function. So let's get on to it using namespace we will start off in the main function okay first of all we find the maximum between the two numbers so let's declare these two numbers variables okay now let's prompt the user for input of these two numbers Now having obtained input of these two numbers, now we must find the highest number of these two numbers. After all, that's what, that's our main motive of the program. But now remember, we won't be checking that in the main function. We will do that in a separate respective function. So now let's go declare this function up outside of the main function. So that when you call it in the main function, it is known. This is the syntax of declaring a function. We have our type, the function name, and the parameter parentheses. These parameter parentheses carry values which are being passed to the function. Like now, we need to carry the two input values, the two input variables from the main function into this function in, do, in order to do the comparison. So now let's declare our function. The function returns the maximum number between the two numbers and this maximum number is an integer since our two numbers are integers so this function type is also an integer the name of the function the values which we are passing here are those in the main the two input numbers so that we can access them from the main into this function the body of the function is contained in this curly braces this function returns the maximum, so let's declare it. This value is only for this function, hence we're declaring it locally for this function alone. Okay, now if the first number is greater than the second number, then the first number is great. And if the second number is greater than this first number, then the second number is the great. So we will use if else statements. If first is greater than second, the max is the greatest. And if second is greater than first, the max is the second. And the function returns the maximum value. Remember that the return ensures that this number stored in the max is carried back to the main function when we call this function in the main function. Okay, so we have built our fun find maximum function. Now back to the main function so that we can call this function. After having obtained input from the user, we must find the maximum between these two numbers. So now let's declare that variable that will hold our function when we call it. Now let's assign this value to our find maximum function. Okay, now we can output the highest number between these two.
day. Now we've completely developed our code, but is it correct? At least our logic tells us that it is. Now check if we followed the right syntax. Let's run. Great, we have no errors. Now let's input the two numbers. We are getting correct results, which is very good. Now let's try another input set. Excellent, you deserve a standing ovation. Keep doing more of this, you're really getting good at coding. Okay, now that's it for me today, guys. Don't forget to share this channel with your friends so that we can all learn how to code. I'll see you in the next video.